Today we are up in the ante on my group Hardcore Iron Man account. If you have missed the last video, there's a link to it in the description. We unlocked Barrow's Gloves after 130 hours of progress in a week, and me and my team want to get started on PVM and soon. So, they have sent me on a mission. A mission into the wilderness. We want rune crossbows and we're not crafting them anytime soon, which means we have to get them from the crazy archaeologist, who drops two of them in a 1 in 25 drop rate. The only catch is that he's in level 24 wilderness and I have no means of teleporting above level 20. But hey, it doesn't matter, I'm a PKer, let's get it done. Not gonna lie, I was pretty burnt out after getting Barrow's Gloves in a week, so since then all I've been doing is AFKing my combat stats at Sand Crabs and doing a little bit of LMS. I'm gonna be doing the boss with Ibans Blast and Karambwans. The Karambwans came from Maz who fished and cooked them, and I've been getting the entire team loads of GP from farming LMS for rune hours, which we sell for pure GP and is how I bought the death runes. If you guys want me to make a full video on LMS, or maybe another LMS guide as I know there's a lot of new group irons who are trying it out, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make another one. I'm gonna buy some super restores too. We're gonna buy five sets. So that'll give us 20 super restores and we're gonna buy a looting bag real quick too. We'll buy more super restores if we need. All right, first kill done. What do we get? Cannonballs, I see. A prayer potion, we take those. Amulet of power? Yo, I think that's better than an amulet of magic, not gonna lie. Okay, maybe an amulet of magic is better for magic, but apart from that, an amulet of power is good. Another prayer potion. Coins, 3k. Another amulet of power, that's actually good that we got a dupe, so now that's two amulet of powers for the group. More coins. Bro, where's my rune crossbow at? Some potato with cheeses to keep me going, can't complain. 10kc down, some more coins. Only 850 this time. Third amulet of power, one more and our entire squad is squatted up with amulet of powers. Some more potato with cheeses. I got a muddy key, no idea what that is, but we'll figure it out later. Red dehyde body, let's go! Okay, that's an upgrade, that is an upgrade. We definitely did not have a red dehyde body before, so that's very, very nice. 15kc now, some more potato with cheeses. GG. Any rune crossbows now? But that is our fourth amulet of power. Okay, our whole squad is now amulet of powered up. Fair enough. Uncut sapphire. Grimy dwarf weeds. I think those are good for ranging potions, maybe? Four of them. Onyx bolt tips. I don't think we have any use for those whatsoever. But yeah, 21kc now. Rune knives. That's not the rune weapon I wanted. 24kc, onyx ball tips again. Damn, I might have just got chance, I don't know. Another prayer pot at 25kc. A long bone, isn't that like construction XP? I have no idea. Can you, uh, watch me set up my birdhouse runs after this? Because I actually forgot how to do it, so that's why I don't know I'm done. Like, I have to go set up those trees, you know what I mean? Like, I ran out of runes doing Crazy Archaeologist at, like, 45kc. I'll go buy some more runes in a second. But right now, I'm just making some dig site pendants so I can start up my birdhouse runs. Alright, now that I've got my birdhouse runs set up, I'm just doing a quick farming run, too. Planting some oak saplings or whatever, so I can get to 23 farming. And then I can start planting seaweed, which is going to help me out with my crafting later. Bunch of maths. Bro, red dragon hide again, like where are the crossbows at? Odium shard 2, bro, where is my rune crossbows? Like what? Dragonstone? Okay, and that is 71 KC done. The drop rate for two rune crossbows is 1 in 25 if I'm not mistaken. So double over the drop rate, almost triple the drop rate going dry. Ivan's staff is almost out of charges, we're almost out of death runes, so I'm gonna have to sell more rune arrows and uh, buy more death runes as well, and we can come back here. Hopefully we get this soon. 74 KC coins. Okay, first tree run done. This got me to 25 farming from like 21, I think I was. Now it means I can do my birdhouse runs and do the sea house. Sea house? Seaweed runs at the same time. All right, and I got to 14 hunter off of this birdhouse run. Fam, I've gotten two odium shards and no rune crossbows. Like, what is going on? Okay, this is going to be 100 KC coming up here, which is times four the drop rate for two of the rune crossbows. So, can we get something? Nah, another muddy key. Unfortunate. Let's stick it. 
<gasps> Let's go. Okay, we got the first two rune crossbows. 105 KC. We finally got on two rune crossbows. I do need to get another two, though, so let's hope we don't go too dry for these. But 105 KC, two out of the four crossbows have been achieved. I don't know why I'm running to bank these, because it doesn't really matter, but hey. Bro, I wasn't... Okay, I don't think I was recording. I wasn't. GG. But 112 KC, we just got our second pair of rune crossbows. Very, very hype. I'm a very, very hyped individual. I don't know why I'm price checking them like I'm going to sell them. These are untradeable drops for our entire group, but we now all have four rune crossbows. 112 crazy archaeologist kills in the wilderness. We are done. No longer risking the lives. For now. Alright, I just got 56 woodcutting here, which means I can go start the Fremenic Isles quest, or the Trials? Maybe I've already done the Trials, maybe I'm doing the Isles, but I need a Helm of Nezi, and yep, that's what's up next. Got into the fight part of uh, Fremenic Isles, which means I'm going against, I don't know, a war with the trolls? So good luck to them, hopefully we come out on top. Okay, I've defeated enough trolls to attack the king, let's go. That's the Ice Troll King done, we're decapitating him real quick, and we should be able to claim our Nezi Helm pretty soon. Okay, and this is Fremi Isles done. I think I'm just going to get this in hit points and defense because I need some defense XP anyway. Oh, dude, I can't even wear the Helm of Nezi anyway. I should have put that both in defense. I'm only 48 defense right now. Uh, we're probably going to start working on our defender, so we'll start training defense there, I guess. Uh, 177 quest points, Fremnic Isles done. Can't even wear the Helm of Nezi yet. Doing some more birdhouse runs. Don't always remember to do these, but hey, uh, we're now in 17 Hunter. Some seaweed runs as well. Some of my seaweed died, so I'm going to plant some more. Time to buy DDSs. Does the price go up? Okay, it's like by 30, 300 GP. It's whatever. I need to buy one more, though. All right, three DDSs for the gang for me, Maz, and 9-2. Not getting Mika one yet, because I don't think he's going to be using his special attack AFK and at Crabs. When he gets started on doing some shit, we'll hook him up. Okay, it is time to get started on the defender grind. We're also going to be training our defense to 55 and 60, so we can use the dragon defender and our helm of Nezi. Then our strength bonus will be looking pretty sick, and we're going to have to start working on a fire cape eventually. But that is not a safe death, and as you guys may know, I'm not the best with fire capes. So don't know if I want to go risking a life just yet. But for now, let's just get started working on this dragon defender. We can get strength potions from the store here for pretty cheap. And we can get stews and potatoes from the store here for pretty cheap. So we can pretty much AFK the entire defender and just buy food when we need it. Okay, first 600 tokens used, and I've got all the way to 54 defense. I'm almost 55 defense for the Helm of Nezi, and I've finally unlocked the Bronze Defender. Let's go. Gonna leave the Defender grind real quick because BA Services have been kind enough to help me boost a Fighter Torso, and that's gonna be my best in slot play buddy for quite a while. Alright, and that is my Fighter Torso achieved. Big shout out to BA Services for helping me get this uh, torso. If you want to leech any BA Services off them, obviously just join the CC and ask them for some help. TYTY. Okay, and we can finally use this Helm of Nezi. We're looking pretty saucy, not gonna lie. The Bronze Defender. Bronze Defender might not be the most flattering, but hopefully we can upgrade that to a Dragon Defender. We've got like 1.4k tokens on us right now. So I'll probably go up there and start AFKing now, hopefully get another Defender. Shortly after- I'm dropping the Seed. Or am I dropping the Seed? Maybe I'll drop a Stew. Yeah, okay, I'll drop a Stew. Shortly after getting the 55 Defense, I've already got my Iron Defender. Pretty good so far, pretty good so far. Black Defender now, we're at 56 Defense. We're probably going to train this up to 60 and maybe onwards to 70. I'm going to be doing some of the mid-game PVM, so probably want some higher Defense level just so I don't get one hit. Black Defender now, let's keep it moving. 57 defense, 1175 total level, and a mithril defender all in the same kill. Still around a thousand tokens left, just under a thousand tokens. If we can get to a rune defender without having to get any new tokens, this could be really good. 58 defense now, still working on 60 def. Just got the addy defender, 600 tokens left, so I do think we'll be able to get to rune. Hopefully that's a full hour here, so hopefully I get a rune defender within the hour. And then maybe we can push our luck and get a dragon. If not, we'll just go get more tokens, it's not that deep. Still 500 tokens to go, and we have the Rune Defender. Very, very nice. Still need to get a 60 defense, so it doesn't really matter how long this Dragon Defender takes us to get, but hopefully we can get it within these 500 tokens. 200 tokens used, and we got our Dragon Defender. I will absolutely take that. Um, can't even wield it yet. Maybe I'll stay here until I get 60 defense, actually. That's a good idea. Okay, and that is 60 defense achieved. I'm going to keep training on defensive as I go on, just training in general, because I probably want to get a 70 and even higher defense when I move on to different levels of PVM, but the Dragon Defender has been achieved. Like I said, I do want to go for a fire cape soon, but if you've seen my performance in the Gilinor games, me versus Jad is not going to go down too well, and I don't want to lose our team of life just yet. So I want to be a little bit more higher leveled with better gear and better inventory setup, like with brews and stuff, if I'm going to do that. I will get it done eventually, though. All right, I went and bought some gnats real quick. I'm just going to alk all the alkables that I got from the Dragon Defender grind and see this 100k cash tag turn into something else real quick. Doubled our money just like that, 192k now, very, very nice. Just another casual scroll through level 53 wilderness. I can get attacked by level 33s, I can get attacked by level 126s right now. Logout button at the ready. We're just gonna go do the Mage Cape 1 now because it is, well, we've already done some risky ass shit in today's episode. 
over 100 kills of the crazy archaeologist. So I just figured I'd get some more risky stuff out the way, because why the hell not? People know I'm doing this anyway. So let's go get do it now. Only 62 mage, so only going to do mage cape 1. I don't know if we'll come back from mage cape 2 ever. But mage cape 1, it's too easy not to get, so we might as well just get it right now. Alright, all risks averted. Ivan's boss absolutely shreds. That's mage cape 1 done, so let's go collect our mage cape and shit. Gonna get the Zamorak cape, put that one on Zamorak. Oof. And let's claim the Zami staff to go along with our Zami cape too. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I'm looking ready to go tribriding right about now. Got a nice little tribrid setup. Jeez. A lot of progress done, 4 rune crossbows, dragon defender, mage cape 1. If you're watching this video in the first couple of hours, it's up. I'm actually live on Twitch right now doing some Dagonoff Kings content with the entire group. Come tune in, there's a link in the description. If not, I appreciate you guys watching, and if this video gets 10,000 likes, yes, I will go PKing on this hardcore account without telling my team. See you guys in the next episode. Peace.